Hi everyone, welcome back to Canada's Video Tutorials. It's Taylor again, and today we will be talking about two apps you can hack to play different types of games. So these apps are Make Snake and Make Pong. So we need to get to those via the classic mode. And you'll see them here, the Make Snake and Make Pong. So let's check out Make Snake. So for those who don't remember, Snake was a pretty popular game found on cell phones. Um, if you were bored, you played Snake. So let's check it out. So when you open Make Snake, you'll be brought to a black screen that looks a lot like Terminal Quest. Um, in Make Snake, you'll be using Python code actually to hack and play with this game. So when you first start, you will start off with the walkthrough challenges. Um, you'll go through them and go through them, and then you can play around and modify them as you go. So if I look at the screen I have now, I'm actually on challenge three of nine. So game changer. So I've already learned to launch the game typing Python snake, but now it wants me to make the board a medium size. So let's try it out. I'm going to type in Python and then snake to launch Python snake. And then I want the board to be medium size. So go into the game. I've launched the game and I've changed the board now. So I want to press enter and use the arrow key to move around. So this board looks now different from the way it was before. So I can play the game until I die. Let's go ahead and just, or I could press quit. So, but you'll always play the game once, see the changes that it made, and then you'll move on to the next activity or the next challenge. Um, you'll be earning XP, and this can also help with you earning badges in the Kano profile setting as well. But let's make Snake. And let's check out now Make Pong. So Pong is viewed as a video game classic and now you get to learn how to hack it and kind of make it your own. So you can start and it's very similar to Minecraft the way it looks. You have the playground where you can go straight in and play or you have the different types of challenges you can go in. So we'll start, usually the first challenge is always like, hey, just play the game, but let's go do the paint the board one. And I'm gonna replay it because I've already completed it. But it's like Make Minecraft, you're going to be given, hey, click the startups, move it in, and then it tells us we want to change the screen to the forest setting. And then we want to change the color of the lines for the game. Change it to purple. And then I want to make it. So same thing with Make Minecraft, you have the challenges down here that you can go back to, you have the walkthroughs that you'll go through. Um, and you have ways to customize it and make it yourself. And then I'll actually launch the game. You can press enter and just move the arrow keys up and down to be able to play. And you can play forever <laughs> if you really want to. Um, but you can, if you want to get out, you can just click escape and go back out. And Make Pong is a really cool way to kind of see like instantly these different types of features being changed. Um, kind of like being able to modify this game to be yours specifically and you can also share this via Kano World so if you want to share it play this game later have maybe them play with it and feel like they own this game and share it with their parents um, they can have this as a way to play just like working with game development say hey what are the features you would want in a game what would you want to add um, what are some challenges that you could add to make this game interactive so it gives them that ownership so if you ever have any questions about how you can use this in a learning environment or in a club, feel free to email us at education.cano.me to get an idea of it. Um, but that is Make Snake and Make Kong. So thanks for joining.